Hello, how is it going? It's Top Notch Media and today we shall be covering the various types of transitions that can be used to enhance the flow and visual interest in your videos. This will involve basic cuts and zooms to more enhanced transitions such as wipes and zooms. So sit back, grab a notebook and let's get started. We are kickstarting this with the basic cut or the clean cut. So what this basically means is a transition between two clips where the change from one clip to the next is seamless and without any visual disruptions or distortion. This is typically achieved by matching the first and last frames of the two clips so that the transition appears smooth and natural. It is a basic but effective way of transitioning between two shots in a video. And from my own point of view, I would advise you to use this cut when you're transitioning from maybe a wide angle to a mid or close up range angle and if you are to use this transition make sure that it is not from the same angle make sure that there is at least a 30 degree angle from one transition to another so away from that but almost close to that is the jump cut well a jump cut is a technique where the camera appears to jump from one position to another within the same shot or when the shot itself changes abruptly. Jump cuts can be used to create a sense of disorientation to show the passing of time or to signify a change in the scene. But they can also be used creatively to create a specific visual style or to convey a particular mood or feeling. Away from the basic and jump cuts, let's talk about the cut away. So in the cut away, the editor cuts away from the main action to dialogue or to another shot, typically for a purpose of providing additional information, context, or to cover up and edit. Cutaways can be used to show reaction shots, establish locations, or to show something happening simultaneously with the main action. Now let's talk about this common and somehow mostly used transition. I personally, I no longer use this transition anymore, but well, some people like it and it can be used occasionally. And this is the dissolve. Well, in this technique, one shot fades out as another gradually fades in, creating a smooth transition between the two shots. This transition is often used to indicate the passage of time to suggest a dream or flashback or to indicate a change in location. The dissolve transition is a gradual transition and creates a smooth flow between two shots. Now let's talk about one of my favorite or one of my most creative cuts that I enjoy using. This is the J cut. The J cut. J. Whatever. So this is where a video from one shot is continued over the audio cut. The video from the first shot bleeds over into the next shot, creating a smooth transition between the two shots. The name J cut comes from the shape of the audio and video tracks on the timeline, which resembles the letter J. When the video from one shot extends over the audio cut to the next shot, something related to the J cut is the L cut. The L. L cut. <laughs> This is basically the opposite of the J cut and in this, the audio from one shot is continued over the visual cut to the next shot. The audio from the first shot bleeds over into the next shot creating a smooth transition between the two shots. As I had earlier told you about the J cut, the L cut as well comes from the shape of the audio and video tracks of the timeline which resembles the letter L when the audio from one shot extends over the visual cut to the next shot. And now let's talk about one of my favorites. I can see this is my favorite cut. This is the cutting on action. Guys, if you've not used this transition, you have to use it. Like what the, f are you waiting for? You have to use this cut. Well, this is a technique in video editing where the editor cuts from one shot to another while the subject in the frame is in motion. This creates an illusion that the subject is continuing their motion across the cut and can be used to create a sense of continuity and fluidity in the edited footage. Anyway guys, that's all that I had for you in this episode and if you found this video helpful, why not hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. This helps out on the channel so that this video can be recommended to many more other users out there who are into video editing and videography. I look forward to creating more amazing videos with you guys and yeah, if you want to be part of the family and if you want us to hit that goal, go ahead and subscribe down there. 
you can leave all your comments and all your questions in the comment section but for now see you